DC here and uh, just want to check in really quick and tell someone thank you. Thank you so much. Let me show you what someone sent me. This always just blows my mind when people do this sort of thing. Look, they're Star Wars pot holders and the towel thing. Oh, it's just beautiful. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. And I love it. Thank you so much. Well, I have to work a double shift today, which means I got off work at 8 o'clock this morning. It is the 1st of May. May Day. I can remember when I was a child, we used to run around and do little baskets and things and celebrate May Day. Uh, but they don't do that anymore. No maypoles, wrapping, nothing. Uh, I guess sometimes holidays just sort of disappear on us. But um, in any case, happy May Day to those of you who remember celebrating May Day. And I have a double shift to do. So it's almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I did some morning shopping because uh, the first is always payday. And got some things to put in the house for my son to nosh on. And I'm heading back to work here at 2.30. Well, I'll be leaving at 1.45. And uh, it's going to be a good day with the guys, hanging out with my clients. And we got some plans of going to the Dollar Tree and Walmart, two of their favorite things to do. And uh, in the meantime, I got a call from the company I'm trying to get a loan with, which is Quicken. They have my house loan now. And, you know, I was really hinky about refinancing my house and taking out more money and going more in debt. Very hinky about it. Um, the interest rate was going to be the same, so it wasn't any better. And the house had to pass inspection, and I told you I didn't think it would, because he I swear he'd been in my house. He was like, no peeling paint. Is all your siding intact? You know, can't have any wires exposed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like... I knew I just it wasn't gonna go but on the off chance that somebody was really nice and said yeah because you're gonna fix all that with the money we'll go ahead and let you have it I was kind of hoping but then I get a strange call today from a woman with a foreign accent and people could say I was prejudiced because of this but I was working with a guy named Ryan and all of a sudden I get this call and she wants my husband's death certificate, which was 18 years ago, the original, which is probably in my safe deposit box, at least it should be, but someone stole <laughs> my jewelry box, so I think the key was in it. Hmm. I may not have a key to my deposit box, I just never go look at it, so I don't know. It got, it, I got me to thinking, and I got a little concerned about that. She also wanted the rest of my income tax, all of it, sent to her. The 17s, not the 16s. And I had accidentally sent the front page of my 16 and 17 to Ryan, and Ryan had called me back and was laughing at me. And he said, we don't need that. We want your W-2 forms. And I'm like, H&R Block kept them. I don't get those back. And so I went to HR and had my W-2 forms for two years printed out, sent it to him. Now this woman calls and wants me to send the whole thing of my 2017. And I'm like, that is not kosher. Because Ryan was laughing at me saying it was the wrong thing, they didn't need that. And I'm like, what's she up to? Just made me hinky, guys. And I don't... What are we scratching on? It's good. That's it. Whoever. Who's doing that? I just don't trust anyone anymore, guys. Isn't that sad? We just got to a point in our lives where we just can't trust anything, anybody. So I just said cancel it. Cancel it. I can't do this. It made me want to cry. I've you know, gone through so many hoops, gathering stuff that they want and taking out of my way and having to print off stuff and do things online that makes me nervous anyway. Put a person in front of me with a pen in my hand. I'm much better at that. Call me old-fashioned, because I am. So I just, uh, I feel better. I feel better now that I said no. I'm, I'm just not going to do it. It's If it was a better interest rate, if I had just been working with the one guy, it would have been a different story. You know, Maybe I'd have gone ahead and gone 
another 15000 in debt so I could fix the house. But um, now, you know what? I'll just keep YouTubing. I save up that $50 a month I make from you guys watching my, my little show. 50 bucks a month. I get paid about every two months, $100. So that's $500 a year. <laughs> I just keep saving. And eventually we'll be able to get the plumbing fixed and the siding and everything else that needs to be done. We're already started painting. That's a step in the right direction to make it look better. And my neighbors came over today and were nice to me. We all started off on the wrong foot. But they have bulldozers and all kinds of backhoes and bobcatty things and this guy drives all of it and um, they uh, are putting a new fence between us. Good fences make good neighbors. That is a true statement. So I'm happy about that. And uh, he wanted to know what I wanted to do with my junk pile. And I said, burn it. You want to burn it? I'd love it if you burn it. <laughs> and he's like, you want any of that junk that's in it? And I'm like, I don't even want to look at it. No. I had an old bathtub that I tried to grow some garden in one time. I have the brownest thumb on earth. I swear I can look at a cactus and it'll shrivel up and die. You know, it's, it's a talent. It's, I don't know. A gift, maybe. <laughs> You just look at things, they wither and die. That includes husbands and hamsters. But anyway, that being said, I am feeling better having canceled that. There was just something wrong going on. I don't trust it. So, we will keep plugging on, guys, and I'll just keep updating you as we go. Uh, I've got research classes this week, a double today. And then on Thursday, I'm working another double because I won't get off at 8. I've got to go do research from 9 to 3. And then I'll be off Thursday late afternoon. And maybe we can do some more painting. I think the weather's supposed to clear up. We're going to have some rain in between. My son's going to be driving back and forth and uh, moving some more of his stuff, I'd imagine, this week. And uh, maybe by the weekend, we can start backtracking and see what we can do. My son said we could watch YouTube videos and figure out how to do the plumbing ourselves. I said, do you think you can wire in a hot water heater that is, uh, you know, what, what is that thing? It's instant. It's instant on, instant off. It has to be wired in. I said, do you think you can wire in a hot water heater, baby doll? Go right ahead and try. Worst we can do is break it $500 down the drain. <laughs> Oh, okay, hi guys, it's just going to get worse. I have a feeling things are not going to get better for a very long time. And uh, hang in here with me. I love you all. I'm going to put you on quick upload. I'm not even going to cut, paste, or anything on this other than probably cut out a couple of walking back and forth sessions. And then i got to head out. Thank you so much for the Star Wars pot holders and the towels. I love them. I'm going to put them to good use, although I don't want to use them. I want to just hang them on the wall for decoration. <laughs> I love it. And yes, they match my kitchen. I have the cobalt blue and white checked. It looks black on video, but it, they're blue and white checked. And then the red and the green, it all matches. You know I'm partially colorblind, right? <laughs> looks good to me, and that's all that matters. So uh, you guys have a great day. I hope that you are experiencing a beautiful uh, spring, uh, even if you're getting lots of rain and, and stuff like that, because, you know, April showers bring May flowers, and the flowers are starting to bloom, and the red buds are beautiful. As a matter of fact, let me take you out front, and we'll take a quick, brief look at a beautiful Missouri red bud, and then I'll let you go. I planted that red bud tree when my kids were still in high school. They're in mid-30s now, <laughs> at least one of them is, and it's finally growing. The neighbors have prettier ones. I think theirs are natural. They just grew there. I babied mine. Do you see how it's struggling? Yep, well, at least it didn't die. Bonus. Still working on the paint. Haven't painted any more. And uh, still figuring out how to get up there to scratch it off. All that curling paint and stuff's got to come off. And then we can paint this. It's going to be really cool, though, I think, when we're done. It's growing on me. It's very super grandma-y. Kind of like it. Hey, <laughs> maybe FedEx can find my house. It's the blue one. <laughs> if they can't see that, God help them. Mama, are you done filming yet? Because I think we need some more food. Do we need more food, Angus? 
maybe. More the better, Mama. Always the more the better. Cody! Cody man, how are you doing? Mr. Death? He's a good boy. He's happy that his daddy's moving in. Yes, you are. You're a good boy. Look at that smile. He is the smiliest man. Look at him walk. Good boy. Ooh, you know what? You gotta have your medicine this morning, don't you? All right. Checking it out. Moving good. Mm, yep. Scud, are you bothering the neighbors today? Oh, uh, not yet. The neighbors said they were gonna help me shore up your fence so you couldn't get over there. Ha ha ha. Good man. Bye, Cody. Bye, Cody. <laughs> You're trying to pet a dog while looking in a lens. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> oh, you good man. Oh, focus, focus. Focus, focus. There we go. Well, that's all right. Just ignore me. I'm just sitting over here being quiet. Never pay any attention to me whatsoever. I swear to heaven, 17, I'm the oldest dog you got, and you don't pay any attention to me. I don't care. Do whatever you want.